Cool, what's up guys? Justin here with the realtimeessentials.com. So in today's video, we're gonna check out another asset for Unity. This one's designed to help you create top-down games inside of Unity. So if you've ever played like Zelda or anything like that, or any of those third-person shooter games that are kind of like looking down at the controller, this is a great tool for setting those up. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so Top Down Engine is an asset that you can find inside of the Unity Asset Store. I will link to it in the notes down below. Basically what it is is this tool that's supposed to come with all the parts and pieces you need in order to set up a top down game. So it's got a bunch of different kinds of games that you can create um, using the tools that are inside of it. So you can do like these adventure games where you walk around. It also gives you the ability to create like these 3D shooter games. So it, it's basically a tool set for setting up this kind of games. It's from the same people that brought us the Corgi engine, which is the 2D um, like side scroller um, setup tool set. So um, this this was specifically designed so that people could start creating those top down games um, the same way that you can create the side scrollers with the Corgi engine. But basically what it contains, if you scroll down, is it contains things like character controllers for 2D and 3D. Um, it also comes with, there's a ton of demo levels in there, which we'll take a look at in a minute. But um, it comes with some different assets. It comes with scripts. Um, it comes with an inventory engine as well, as well as the AI system that you can use um, in order to set up enemies inside of your games, things like that. So there, there's a lot of different things inside of here. We're going to do kind of a quick overview of the whole thing. If we want to get more in depth, I can just let me know in the comments down below. But um, so one thing to note about this is they do have documentation that you can use that kind of like walk you through everything. So not only do they have a documentation page, it gives you kind of instructions. They also have a number of videos on their YouTube channel as well. So you can see how they've got kind of overall tours, other things like that, how to install contents. But then as you scroll down, um, they've got detailed videos about things like weapons and AI and other things like that. So there's a lot of support there and also things that can kind of teach you how everything is going to work. Um, in addition, they also have a support forum post in the Unity forums. So you can go in there and ask questions. And there's also a Discord where you can go in and ask questions directly as well. So there's a lot of opportunities for support um, in the way that you use this tool. So um, that's gonna help you not get stuck. And so let's take a look at uh, the way that it works inside of Unity and kind of what's included. All right, so to enable the package in Unity, you're gonna wanna go up to Window, Package Manager, and under your My Assets, you're gonna wanna find Top Down Engine. So if I scroll down, we've got top down engine right here. So you're gonna to wanna to click on top down engine, you wanna click on the import button, and then you're just gonna to wanna to click on the import button right here. All right, so when you, you enable the package, you're gonna have a folder down here for top down engine, and that's where it's gonna put everything that comes along with this add-on. So note that when you click on this, there are things in here for the license. There's the readme, which is gonna give you information on A, how this is all going to work and where everything's located, but also where to go for help, um, that kind of thing. So there's a lot of ways to find that information. But um, what, what I wanna do is I wanna start by taking a look at some of the demos. All right, so probably what you want to do is you want to start by going into the demos folder, going into the start screen right here, just double clicking on the start screen. What that's going to do is that's going to open up the start screen right here. You can click on play. That's going to give you a start screen where you can access um, the different demo files that are contained inside of here. And there's a ton of different demo files in here, like um, kind of a ridiculous amount actually. And they all work a little bit differently, right? So you've got like um, a demo with a koala where you can walk around. You've got a game that's kind of like Bomberman. Um, you've got some game, you've got a game um, where you actually walk around and you kill AI. There's a tanks game. It's just a ton of stuff in here. And one of the cool things about this is there's multiple different rooms in here that kind of give you an idea of what the features are. So this is probably a good place to start is maybe by looking at like the minimal 3D sandbox. Because what the sandbox does is that lets you walk around and it actually tells you um, what the different scripts are and other things like that that are contained in here. So for example, and I may want my window to be bigger. And so notice how there's different notes in here. So for example, it talks about how these are pushable blocks and it tells you that you can specify things like their weight and your character strength. So you can kind of push these around in here. You can see that what this does. Um, so you can see how there's weapon and ammo crates and it tells you how to use the inventory system. So like if I tap the I key, for example, it's gonna pop up the inventory system. That inventory system is built in to the program. So it comes along with that. And then notice how if I tap the T key, 
and I don't have any weapons yet because I didn't walk over them. But now that I have one, if I press the T key, it's going to let me um, access that weapon. So again, this is just something that's kind of giving us an idea of how how everything works and what the capabilities are. So this is a really great like visual way of seeing that. So you've got things like time zones, which are gonna affect the flow of time. Um, you've got like vortexes and gates and other things like that, which are gonna take you to another scene. Um, other things like that. So you can see how this took us back to our overall view. But there's just a ton of stuff in here kind of showing you how everything works. And the nice thing about that is you can reverse engineer all of this stuff too. So for example, I'm gonna mute the audio on this, but for example, like right now, right, this is the Koala demo and you can kind of see how it works. But the cool thing about this is you can actually, if you were to stop this and go take a look at the Koala game, so the Koala 2D right here. And so like this dungeon, for example, you could actually look in here and see how the different parts are built, right? So you can see the spawn point, you can click on these different items and you can see that these are built with a collider and then you can see the scripts that are placed on top of them. So for example, um, these scripts all come with this, but you can see how this is a script um, for it being a pickable item and also which item it is. You can see how what it does is it's going to add the Koala rifle inventory weapon um, to your inventory when you walk over it. If you click on this one, you can see how it's gonna add the rifle ammo in here. So what you could do is you could take this entire thing and you could reverse engineer it and look at exactly how it's set up um, in order to kind of set up your game in the same way. And all these scripts and other things like that are built in. So for example, if you were to go look at your scripts, so we'll go to the common files right here, scripts, but for example, let's say we wanted the item picker script that we just saw. Right here, you can click on that and you can see exactly what's in this script. So you can see, you can find that and then you can drop that on your players. And so there's a fair amount of documentation on the uh, YouTube channel to talk you through things like how to create a character. So there's like a 26 minute long video just showing you how to create a character. So you can actually follow those step by step. Sorry, my internet's running really slow. So this is kind of low resolution, but um, you can actually get those instructions in here for what to do with that. Um, and you can just follow the instructions step by step. And so this works for multiple different kinds of games. So for example, like this one is probably more of like a Zelda style game, right? So if we were to walk around in here, um, now it does have guns and stuff as well, um, which you can use, but um, this has more of that kind of like Zelda dungeon style in here. But if we were to go look at some of the other demos, you can also use this to set up other kinds of games as well. So for example, if we were to look at the Explode Dudes demo, so basically what this is, is this is a game where you drop bombs and then you can use it to like clear out um, different areas, right? Like this. So this is set up to clear the areas and you can see how you can use the, uh, the top down engine in order to set that up. So again, just a ton of different uh, resources and different tools in here to help you set up different kinds of games. And so another example, if I go back to the start screen is um, there's a, there's a first per, or a third person shooter game um, with a bunch of AIs built into it. And you can actually walk around and play the game. So you can see how this gives me this kind of view right here. And you can see how this has different weapon types and it has the different AIs and other things like that. And again, you can see exactly how they set it up by going into the actual game itself and looking at the way that everything is set up in there. So this is just a really powerful tool for giving you the ability to set up these top-down games. So it's something that I, I wouldn't say that you can necessarily 100% use it without having a little bit of Unity experience. So if you just have like no code and character experience or anything like that, there's definitely some stuff you're going to have to learn. But the whole idea is to give you a framework where you don't have to go in and write all of those scripts yourself, right? So instead of you having to go in and for example, if you look at the AI scripts, that are in here. There's a ton of AI scripts in here that you don't have to write yourself. You just have to figure out where to put them and how to set up the characters. Once you get all that figured out, it's just a it's just a simple question of getting your uh, levels set up and uh, setting up all the different pickups and other things like that. 
And so one thing I would say is if you are a beginner, you should probably spend a fair amount of time over here in these minimal 2D and 3D scenes over here um, because they're really designed to help you set up grid movement or AI or other things like that. So these are specifically designed to show you exactly how to set those things up, um, how to improve performance, other things like that. And then once you get an idea of how some of those things work, there's a couple on the right hand side over here that are going to show you um, or give you kind of a scene where you can start from. So this one, for example, is a great starting point for a 3D scene. So basically what it is, is it's just a scene that's set up with a character controller and that's about it. You've got like a little wall in here that the character runs into. There's nothing else in here really. And this is a great place for you to practice bringing in like AI agents or different level elements or other things like that, setting up weapons, that kind of thing. Um, so this gives you the ability, instead of having to waste a lot of time creating a level, this gives you that kind of base level in here, um, which you can use in order to start building your knowledge of the way this works. So overall, this seems to be a really great tool for creating top-down games in Unity. I would love to hear from you what you think about this, if you've tried it in the comments down below. So leave a comment down below. I will link to this tool um, in the notes down below as well. But as always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.